Hi everybody, welcome back to Synthetic Biology 1. Today we're getting mathy, so everybody put your math pants on. This lesson is about the Michaelis-Menten equation. It was originally derived by Leonor Michaelis and Maud Menten in 1913 to describe how an enzymatic reaction gets faster when you supply it with more substrate. We use it to understand and control chemical reactions that involve enzymes. But Michaelis-Menten is actually bigger than that. It turns out that many things happen inside cells that follow Michaelis-Menten-like rules, not just enzymatic reaction. It's a very general mathematical relationship that comes up again and again. It's basically our E equals MC squared, okay? Have I hyped it up enough? Are you ready? Here it is. First, let's recognize that this is a differential equation. Because of this D over DT notation, we're going to describe a rate of product formation. P represents the enzymatic product. These brackets are a notation that reminds us that we're talking about a concentration. The left-hand side of the equation has units of concentration per time. Now, over on the right side of the equation, V max represents the maximum velocity or rate of the enzymes that we're using. It will depend on how much enzyme we have, as well as how fast the enzyme works. If we wanted to, we could split Vmax into two terms, one for the number of enzymes and one for the reaction rate per enzyme. But today we're focusing on the effect of the substrate, so we just prefer to keep that part simplified. Now S represents the concentration of substrate. It has units of concentration, which shouldn't surprise us. But the real star of the michaelis menten equation is the term Km. It also has units of concentration, and it is sometimes called the Michaelis constant. It represents the characteristic range of substrate concentrations that a particular enzyme responds to. Let's take a look at a graph and get some intuition for how these parameters relate to the shape of the curve. The plot is showing us the rate of product formation as a function of substrate concentration. Let's walk through it and see if it makes sense. We can start over here at zero. When the substrate concentration is zero, the product formation rate is obviously zero. As we add more and more substrate to the reaction, the rate of product formation increases, but the increases gradually slow down until eventually the curve levels off. At this point, adding more substrate no longer increases the rate of the reaction. So why is that? We say that the enzyme is saturated. It takes time to catalyze a chemical reaction. The, the substrate has to diffuse into the enzyme, the reaction has to occur, the product has to diffuse out, so the enzyme can only chew through so much substrate at a time. Once there is enough substrate to keep the enzyme constantly engaged, the reaction can't go any faster. This limit on the curve is reflected in the term Vmax, the maximum rate of the enzymes. Beside the maximum rate, the curve has one more key feature how quickly or slowly the maximum is approached. This is where the Michaelis constant comes into play. Km represents the substrate concentration at which the reaction rate is one half maximum. We can see this in the curve. We can also see it in the equation. When we set S, the substrate concentration equal to Km, the ratio comes to exactly one half. When the substrate concentration is lower than Km, we say that the reaction is in the linear range because the reaction rate increases roughly linearly with the substrate. When the substrate concentration is higher than Km, we say the reaction is saturated. Large increases in the substrate produce only small increases in the reaction rate. Many things in biology follow saturation kinetics like those described in Michaelis-Menten. You can only be so fast, so strong, so productive before something imposes a limit. As you approach that limit, it becomes harder and harder to increase. The Michaelis-Menten equation is a mathematically simple way to describe some systems that reach saturation. So we see it again and again. Until next time, no limits. Thank mm -hmm. you.